Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to PAX. Please take your seats and silence all cell phones. Our program begins now. Hello, PAX East. How y'all doing? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Final Fantasy 15 Windows Edition Making It Yours panel. Uh, we've got a lot to cover. Uh, we have a lot of news to share with you today. Uh, so I hope you're all excited to get started. Um, to introduce, m introduce myself, I'm Francis Santos. I'm the brand manager for Final Fantasy 15 Windows Edition. And, um, but without further ado, I want to introduce one of the, one of the developers. Uh, he's the live services manager for the game, Mr. Shigafumi, Shigafumi Tanaka. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Shigefumi Tanaka. Uh, I'm in charge of live service in uh, Final Fantasy 15. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not real tabby. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, they forgive you. <laughs> I know you want to hit him, but please bear with me. I want to do my best to give you a best time today. Okay? All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you won't let us down. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to say uh, even though the uh, name of this panel uh, says uh, in Windows Edition, and uh, even, though, uh, even though Windows Edition is the main topics of today, but there's so much more about uh, uh, Final Fantasy XV that I want to talk about, so I hope that is okay. Okay? <laughs> yeah. So today, I want to tell you all the various content and the plans uh, that uh, our team has in store for you. So, are you guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's present to you all the things that will happening with Final Fantasy XV uh, in 2018. Yay! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, number one is the Windows Edition. The Windows Edition makes full use of the online function making your engagement with other players that much more real. So, obviously, Windows Edition uh, has already released earlier last month. Um, so we hope all you PC players out there have gotten your hands on it, or if not, pick it up soon. Yeah, this can only be experienced with Windows Edition only. So first check is out. Oh, I'll show you a video first. Uh, in this video, you can get, you can, uh, you, uh, you will get to see how to create your own avatars that uh, can be replaced with Noctis in game. So, so please watch it. Wow. So uh, let's pause real quick. That was hilarious, first of all. Uh, Shigesan, so um, in the future, in a future update, you'll be able to, um, you'll be able to create your own avatar, yeah. and you'll be able to replace the main character, Noctis, in the main yeah, game exactly. using that avatar. Yes, exactly what I'm saying. So you're, you're free to create uh, avatars uh, you like, that can be replaced with Noctis in game. So just as you, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. So just as you saw, you can become another character uh, in the main story, and you will all, you will also able to see other characters uh, customized avatar as ghost in your game like this. <laughs> okay. So, so these are customized uh, other players' uh, avatars. Okay. So let's pause a second again <laughs> to clarify. Uh, so in a future update, you're saying um, you'll be able to look for inspiration on how to create your avatar by looking at the avatars of other players playing alongside you? Yes, exactly. As a ghost? Ghost, yes. 
Cool. Thank you. Thank you. And next is uh, user treasure. We don't have a video about this, uh, but um, here's the outline. Uh, every day, player will receive one user treasure box, which they will hide in the inside dungeon or inside the world. <clears throat> and there's a reward for finding uh, these treasures. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, the finding uh, these treasures uh, depend on how long it takes to uh, to find them. So, so every day, a user like me, a player, will get a, an item to hide into the world. It's a treasure yes. to hide anywhere in EOS. Yes, yes. In a dungeon, in the middle of a field, uh, next to a big monster, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. That's and right. every day that passes, the longer it takes for other players to find the treasure, the better the treasure becomes. Yes. So it's obviously important for the people to hide these treasures they get as much as possible. So more time, the other players have to find them, uh, the better they will be. Cool. cool. So, oh, thank you. So you can hide the, them in deep inside a dungeon like this, or tuck it away in some hidden corner of the field like this here or <clears throat> hide it close by the powerful monster here. <laughs> so, sounds like fun? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, it sounds like a kind of an exciting, cool way to interact with other players. Yeah, thank you. So, this year, live team is planning on the releasing update to further enhance this con content and uh, other new cool features uh, so you can enjoy this game, uh, this, enjoy this game every day. Cool. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> so that's all the new content update in Windows Edition. But, well, is there anything you want to know? How about it, guys? What, what are you looking to know more about? Female, female, female avatars? Or anything else? Anything else? <laughs> I think, uh, so one of the main things, oh, I, I no. think the, main, the name of the panel, is how about this? Talking about mods. So how about mods? <laughs> so, so let's talk, talk about mods. We are sorry to keep keep you waiting. I know you are dying to hear all about it. So first of all, we are planning on providing users with official tools, and the timing is for that. This spring. So. Technically, even, even though it doesn't really look like it's spring out there, it is technically <laughs> spring, so we don't, we don't have to wait that long, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> but I, I really wanted to say starting from now or starting from tomorrow, but I can't. I'm sorry. But uh, our, right now, our team is working on hard uh, to making the final adjustment, uh, so we will do our best so we can go live in this spring. Yeah. Sounds good. So if possible, before we release the tool, we might uh, showcase the style guide or a guideline first. And even recently, we have <laughs> officially released the character of Clover, which was a uh, collaboration with Half-Life. So we hope you enjoy to your create hot content of these cool and creative items. Everyone, did you try it? Yeah, how was it? <laughs> oh, you, thank you. I, I mean, um, I myself, I, I tried it out too. I, I'm a huge Half-Life fan, so I got the costume on the first day. Mm. Um, so actually, you can still get the Half-Life costume if you haven't already. It's on the Steam. It's on the Steam Workshop. Um, so make sure you have, uh, make sure you pick it up if you haven't. It disappears in May. So, yeah. uh, so I think um, this is just the beginning, right? So these mods and uh, these, uh, the Cactar and the Half-Life skin, they're kind of just the beginning of, and, and were really examples of what um, you guys will be able to do as modders when you get hand, with, sorry, when you get your hands on um, the mod tools that release in the spring. So um, that being said, uh, at least us on our side, we're really genuinely um, uh, excited to see what you guys come up with uh, and the potential is kind of limitless. Yeah. Um, so we're really excited for, for that. Yeah. So when the mod tool uh, is released this spring, 
uh, you will be able to create outfit or and um, weapons. So for Steam users, uh, you will be able to download and uh, apply this UGC content uh, for, from the Steam Workshop. Okay, cool. Thanks. So, so we want to provide playable items that are unique and new to each other's taste. And that's because uh, we want to, uh, each player to enjoy their uh, personal experience with your, our game. Okay, so, but that's not all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> There's more coming, everyone. Oh, do we need a drum roll? No, no. Here is a level editor. Oh. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we are also making a level editor, but please give us some time for that. <laughs> and we are now working hard to able to release it in fall this year. And here is a video to show you just what you can do with this level editor. So let's watch it. <laughs> nice shot. Uh, that was awesome. Yeah. Uh, so I feel like there was a lot in that video. I think we should just oh, let's play it again. Uh, we should go through it just to make sure everyone's clear on what we just showed everybody. Uh, so in the first section, uh, the mod organizer, you can see the models being tweaked with Maya. Um, the parameters on the weapons are being set. You can see them playing around with the stuff that they made, um, Noctis swinging that ridiculous tactar. Um, <laughs> and I guess they're checking and, and testing to see what the end product that they, did, that they designed looks like and what, they, what it feels like. Um, so it also, and you can see it also supports uh, the Steam Workshop as well. Um, and we did mention that the first installment of the mods will be weapons and costumes, right? Yeah. Cool. Um, so the next slide, you can see, you know, things being placed, the actual work of creating a dungeon and a, and a map in progress. So in the video, they were populating the stage with dual horns that just flip knocked us like a pancake. Uh, they seem to be testing out the sequence graph on the level editor screen and making what looks like uh, new quests and dungeons. Mm. Um, so you can all kind of imagine what you, you will be able to do as modders um, when, uh, when the tool is released, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, makes sense. Um, so the next, <laughs> this is cool. Uh, so this is cool because we got to see um, the, a distance tool in action. So you're cre he was creating a distance between um, how close Noctis needs to be to those delicious desserts by Ignis um, for him to consume them. Um, and for some reason, the plate of dessert was out in the middle of the desert for some reason. Yeah. And next? Um, I mean, <laughs> chocobo races. Yeah. How can, I mean, not much else to say. Uh, you can make your own chocobo races, which is awesome. Uh, I imagine you might also be able to do things with regalias, regalia, yeah. regalia races maybe. Probably, yes. It's really cool. Yeah. So next. 
uh, I think... What, How about this? Uh, yeah, Magitech, <laughs> Magitech armor. Towards the end, we got to see a player controlling Magitech armor. Uh, it looks like players can you know, play around with scenarios uh, that involve that. And if all else fails... So you can battle with it. Yeah. Like that, yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. And nice shot. <laughs> uh, obviously, it's uh, all of our dreams to uh, have EOS become one big golf course. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we can take advantage of like sports mechanics yeah. uh, to create our own um, golf game. Mm -hmm. And um, that was just amazing. So um, that's just a small taste of what you guys will be able to do with the mod tool. Um, and that's kind of what we've gleaned from the video, right, Shigesan? Yeah. Uh, so is there any other information that you want to share with us that wasn't in the video? Oh, okay. So next, uh, I would like to introduce our team's concept of what you can do with the level editors like this. It might be changed when this tool released, but uh, here is uh, the, what you can able to do with this level editor. So after all seeing all this, uh, you can kind of imagine all the possibility of what you can do uh, with this tool once it's released. <clears throat> so bottom line is uh, we want everyone to have the most, uh, experience, uh, most uh, personal experience uh, possible. So we will do our best to provide you with a playable function that will help you make your game uh, uniquely yours. That's awesome. Yeah. So is there anything else you want to do, that you want to learn more about? I, yes, I think, um, so you're, you're the live services manager, which yeah. uh, means you deal with multiplayer. Okay. So is there anything yeah. in regards to multiplayer that you can update us on? Okay. So this is what the live service is going to do next, is comrades update. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, comrades. Yeah. Well, now this is n not just an ordinary update. Uh, we are creating game event uh, contents for the summer uh, right now. That will make your players even stronger, and that content is... <laughs> More bosses. <laughs> so we are going to add uh, lots of new boss. I think uh, we can all recognize who the person on the right is. Uh, He's a real new, uh, real very strong, boss. very powerful boss. Uh, <laughs> that's the CEO of Square Enix. Yes, yes, he's a CEO. <laughs> and raid boss and the boss battle challenge. So, um, a lot of us, I think, a lot of us in the panel are, are a lot of us in the audience are familiar about okay. what raids are. So, mm -hmm. um, but in terms of Final Fantasy 15 and Windows Edition comrades. Would you be able to tell us uh, how raids will be handled for oh, this okay. game? Okay, so this event will only be made possible by adding a new, a lot of bosses. And that matching area will suddenly uh, be created uh, something, something in, on the field. And uh, where the lane boss will appear. <clears throat> so players can match by going to that area and participate from the, participate from the moment they come. Got it. Yeah. So, so um, you're in a multiplayer comrades instance with your friends, your four comrades, yeah. and yeah. You, uh, you're in the middle of a field and uh, something occurs on the map. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, an event occurs on the map when all four of your friends yes. uh, arrive to that area, the raid begins. Yes, yes. So you, you can also earn the lots of uh, reward depending on um, you, how you well perform. Got to get that loot. It's cool. And the, about the boss challenge, uh, uh, battle challenges, in this event, uh, in event uh, super strong uh, bosses appear at the same time. So at this, okay. So <laughs> the difference between a raid and a battle challenge is yeah. in a raid there's only one boss. But in a battle challenge, you and your friends will have to deal with multiple bosses at the same time. Yeah. So you and your team uh, will need to be well prepared. Yeah. Okay, so you'll need the best loot, is basically what he's saying. Yeah. So we get a lot of new content in store exclusive to this online multiplayer game. And, but, uh, next is the big news. Big news? Oh, okay, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Drum roll, guys. <laughs> okay. Hey. We are planning to have comrades mm -hmm. at the standalone game. Yeah. Okay. 
So, comrade, will now be easier to enjoy the prayers all over the world. So, uh, and with more prayer um, on board, uh, matching will be much easier. Yeah. That is big news. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. So, wow. So we just went through a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, let's do a recap. Okay. Just so everyone can understand and, and absorb what we just heard. Um, this spring, what we got is the mod organizer, so weapons and costumes, uh, the avatar creation, so you'll be able to change your avatar from Noctis to whatever you create, uh, the user treasure, so you can hide loot for your friends to find, um, and then in the summer, we have comrades updates. One, comrades will become a standalone title. Yep. Amazing, crazy. Let's let, let that sink in a little bit. Uh, and then bosses and array bosses and battle challenges. So more content for you and your friends uh, yep. to conquer. Um, and in the fall, we get the second installment of the mod tool, which is the level editor, which yep. I think we're all super excited for. Uh, is that everything? I think that's, yeah, that's yeah, a lot. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> so this year we are going to we are going to be dropping a lot of uh, content that will help you have as much fun as possible. So I ask you, everyone, and each of you, to keep playing uh, Final Fantasy 15, so we can evolve. Uh, this game together in the future. Yeah, thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So, yeah. Uh, thank you so much uh, for sharing so much information with us. Um, there's a lot to look forward to for Windows Edition, so I hope you all are excited. Um, to kind of switch gears a little bit, uh, we're going to uh, chat about Final Fantasy 15 universe kind of as a whole. Uh, so, and to do that, we want to introduce the global brand manager for Final Fantasy XV. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Ryo Mitsuno. Thank you for the intro, Francis. Uh, I apologize, I'm not Tabby either. Boo. But I do his English voiceover pretty often, so that counts for something. Um, today I'm gonna be talking as myself, so we'll see, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Uh, what I want to talk to you about, I mean, we heard a lot of updates coming your way for Windows Edition, for Comrades, but there's still more that we want to talk to you guys about today, and that is new DLC episodes. Ooh. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Over the last couple of months, we've been talking about this idea, this concept of bringing the Final Fantasy XV journey to a close with new DLC episodes. Um, so we're finally able to share these plans with you, so hopefully you guys are gonna be happy with what we have in store. So taking a quick look back at the first series of DLC episodes, these were designed specifically to put the spotlight on Noctis' friends, as well as the Glaives uh, from Comrades, mm -hmm. uh, and really show um, a little bit more about their character and also what they went through during specific moments of the main story. Um, did everybody, who's played some of these? Raise your hands. Who's all played all of them? Everyone. That's a pretty good number. That's a good number, okay. That's... Which one did you like? I like Comrades. Comrades? I'm a multiplayer guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I like Prompto. Prompto? Yeah, yeah. I'm an episode Ignis guy, so. <laughs> well, Ignis is good. <laughs> so, Gladio. what are we doing then with the new DLC episodes? Well, we came up with a very clear concept, and that concept is to realize a future everyone longed for. Now, think about that word just a second. Everyone is obviously including you guys, the players, the fans, but this word also encompasses the main characters of Final Fantasy XV as well. So what could such a future look like? Maybe something like this. Oh, OK, OK. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's pause. Let's let this sink in let a little bit. Let this sink in uh, while I talk <laughs> over this. <laughs> so we know that some felt that Final Fantasy XV didn't have the happiest of endings. Um, what if there was an opportunity for our heroes to challenge their fates and bring a brighter future. That's what we're trying to do with these new episodes, bring an alternate grand finale. Of course, we're not trying to overwrite the existing ending. The ending for Final Fantasy XV is the ending for Final Fantasy XV. But like we did with Episode Ignis, we want to give players a choice to see a possible different outcome. Um, making it yours, which is the title of this panel, is exactly mm -hmm. what we want to do with you guys 
for the remainder see, of the We see what you did there. See what they see did what there? You did. Pure yeah. coincidence. <laughs> All right, so with that said, who wants to know a little bit more about these DLCs? All right. So you probably can guess already, the first episode is episode Arden. Nice. Currently titled The Conflict of the Sage, um, we knew we had to do an episode for Arden. He was, when we did the user survey last year, he was by far the most sought after character in terms of further story development. Uh, so we know that you guys are gonna look forward to this one. We're gonna see a little bit more about him and what he's all about. He's had this deep-rooted resentment towards Lucis for 2,000 years, so maybe we'll see a different side of him that we didn't have before. So we get to see, we get to learn more about how Arden came to be, why he became so villainous, um, and his backstory. And you get to play as a really villainous protagonist for the first time in a Final Fantasy game. Pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. Uh, who wants to know about the next episode? Anyone? All right. Does anyone have any guesses? Who do you think it is? Yeah. We heard a Luna. I we heard, heard, uh, heard uh, uh, Davis. Uh, Kenny Crow. Oh, episode Kenny. Uh, uh, Tabby. <laughs> Tabby? So Tabby. <laughs> Tabby. You guys want episode Tabby? <laughs> the next episode is our fan favorite, RNA Highwind. Awesome. Working title, The Beginning of the End. This is more of a side story. Uh, we're going to depict what happened with the Star Scourge um, all through the viewpoint of the Niflheim Empire. The last day of the Empire also turned out to be RNA's worst day ever. Um, and this is going to be cool because for the first time ever, people are going to be able to play as the bad guys. And kind of see things I am their super excited for this, guys. Ernie is one of my favorites. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next episode. Guesses. Any guesses? Sid. Sid? I think his adventuring days are a little <laughs> over. <laughs> Nyx. I heard Nyx. Talcott. Hmm. Regis. Hmm. Regis. Regis. All right, next episode is none other than our main heroine, Luna Freya. <laughs> Working title, The Choice of Freedom. Um, so I think it's been enough time. I mean, yeah, wait, wait, wait. wait Spoilers wait. ahead. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Luna met a grim fate yes. in the game. Spoiler alert. We uh, know her time was tragically cut short in the main story, but even in death, her will and her desire to protect the ones she loves continues. Um, and this will eventually overturn the fate that was dealt to the king himself. Um, and there's just so much more to her character that we want to uh, show you guys. And, she was also, along with Arden, one of the most sought-after characters. So giving everyone a chance to play as her is something that we're excited about, and hopefully you guys are going to be excited about. All right. Any guesses for the next one? The last one. Last one. <laughs> I keep hearing Regis. Everyone wants to see Regis. <laughs> the fourth and last episode, episode number three, belongs to none other than our main guy, Noctis. Working title, The Final Strike. So in this one, he parts ways with the Astrals, and he embarks on his final battle. Uh, this is all to bring the ideal future for all the people of Eos. Um, I'm not going to go too deep into this one, uh, because we want to really save all the information for a better date. But from what I've heard from the dev team, this one is going to be a very fitting end uh, to this journey. Um, so Exciting. yeah, that's working title, The Dawn of the Future. That is your new DLC lineup. What do you guys think? Yeah. So I have a question. Okay. Um, so I think a lot of the fans out here might be thinking the same thing, but uh, what was the thought process in choosing which characters deserve their own episode? Oh, very oh, good okay. question, and I have just the person to answer it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the director of Episode Ignis and the Dawn of the Future episodes, Mr. Takefumi Terada.寺田さん、どうやってこの4人がシンエピソードに選ばれたのでしょうか。はい。so really, we met with fans all over the world at various events last year, and we also did the user survey, and it was really clear to us from the get-go that episode Arden and episode Luna were ones that we had to do. So we knew, and also from the development team standpoint, 
there's a lot more to these characters that we wanted to show. So it was, it was a pretty clear decision on that part. で、その後にえっと、グランドフィナーレ、ファイナルファンタジー15のグランドフィナーレを作りたいっていう意思が強い、すごく高かったので、そのグランドフィナーレを作るならばエピソードノクティスって名前を付ける以外にないかなと思い
and Francis, that is finally Aisha, everything. That is, that everything. is it. That is it. Oh my <laughs> God, guys. Wow. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there's no shortage of Final Fantasy 15 content coming our way starting in the spring with the mods uh, up until 2019 where we can finally um, finish the story. Uh, so there's a lot to look forward to in terms of Final Fantasy 15 universe um, for you guys, and we hope that you're all enjoying and immersing yourself in the story that's being told. Um, and that's all we have to share today. I hope. You guys yeah. had enough? <laughs> yeah? Uh, all right. So, <laughs> wow. I hope you're all excited, uh, and we'll see you at the concert. All right. Thank you for coming. See you in concert.